What's the good word, y'all? Welcome to the New York Jets Syndicate channel. It's your boy DKB here. And once again, we have news circulating uh, by Zach Rosenblatt that Bryce Huff um, has some trade interest out there in the NFL realm, right? Joe Douglas doing his job. He's taking some calls. According to Zach Rosenblatt, nothing has been materializing from that whatsoever. It's probably just fillers to get a feel for, um, uh, you know, what the New York Jets plan is for the defensive line. You can only keep so many players. We have a vast majority of edge, rush, uh, edge rushers uh, and, and some ones that could be pretty dominant throughout an entire season. You couple that with the fact that Bryce Huff has averaged less than 15 snaps per game um, in 2022. And it starts to make sense from the outside perspective that this is a guy that maybe will be let go. And instead of getting into a bidding war, um, you can trade for him. Secure services, probably get him a contract extension right out of the gate. And you're getting yourself one of the most explosive and elite situational pass rushers that you'll find in the NFL. I mean, we know about the get off quickest, uh, quickest, quickest get off the line of scrimmage in the NFL. He's led the league uh, or been near the top of the league in pressure rate uh, as well as pass rush win rate. And really the only concerning part about his entire game is the potential lack of run stopping ability and there's plenty of teams in the nfl that we will be willing to open that cavity up uh for a player like bryce huff just to get him on the field and let him dominate as often as he's doing so there's two ways to think about this bryce huff is a player that has uh kind of been confined well, by Robert Sala and Jeff Ulbrich and what they want to do in terms of putting their player in the best situation, right? There's a reason why we would be talking about Bryce Huff being traded. There's a reason why he got a second round tender from the New York Jets this season. The other school of thought is maybe that uh, maybe Bryce Huff is ready to kind of break out the box, right? Um, the New York Jets, I would assume, have an understanding of where Bryce Huff and his ability to defend the run um, that we don't know, right? Open to the public uh, as well as the rest of the NFL. But from previous game take, we do know this is pretty bad. He can get bullied. He can get pushed around. There's even points in time where he looks kind of lost in terms of where the, the direction of the play is going on run plays. Now... Can somebody improve in that category? Most certainly. He's, you know, continuing to get stronger. He's not going to put on enough size to, you know, consistently be able to go out there and impact the run. Um, but maybe you don't ask him to do that, right? Uh, in terms of what the New York Jets have done. I don't see another team trading a high asset, which is why no team offered up the second round pick uh, for the tender he received. I can't see another team looking to increase his snap count to let's just say 25 to 30 uh which is a significant portion keep in mind he played about 13.6 snaps per game um this would put him in a role of uh like a core uh rotation player you're still going to open yourself up to let's say 10 to 12 of those are going to be run opportunities he's probably going to get washed out in the majority of those plays but you're giving him about seven to ten more um pass rush opportunities and the way that he's been able to go out there and dominate when he's given those opportunities it may be worth it to somebody right um but i am curious how much of an impact the fact that he's fresh every single time he's coming out there will factor into this decision for a team and if joe douglas decides this is the proper time to go ahead and move on from bryce huff especially with the players that we are continuing to add uh in this defensive line rotation and he doesn't offer the same versatility that you can kind of get out of some other guys like jermaine johnson or michael clemens in terms of reducing your inside to the interior so Definitely a one-trick pony, uh, but it's a hell of a trick. Definitely one of the most elite uh, uh, pass rushers that you're going to find, which is something that I think is a huge selling point for any team in the NFL. Ultimately, I don't think he gets traded. I think he stays on this roster for this season, and he just goes out and earns himself a quality payday during the offseason. Um, but 
is worth talking about. So let me know what you guys think. If you trade him, what's your asking price? Um, and if not, do you think he earns himself a bigger role this season? Or does he continue, uh, you know, in this 15-ish snap range? Uh, and we just expect him to go out there and dominate. I'll catch you guys again. Peace.